key to success in doing Hess's law problems is remembering that you can add those heats up. It's called constant heat summation. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. The total energy change for a reaction is the same regardless of whether or not the reaction occurs in one step or whether it occurs in several steps. Sometimes this is called the law of constant heat summation or Hess's law. We can produce carbon dioxide, for example, by a single step or we can do it by several steps and it doesn't matter because the energy will be the same. Let me show you. Suppose we take process A and we're going to take carbon solid and burn it in oxygen gas and get carbon dioxide gas. And the delta H for this is an exothermic process so it is minus 393.5 kilojoules. Now, let's look at it a different way. Take process B in which we take carbon solid and we allow it to burn with an insufficiency of oxygen, if you will, and we get carbon monoxide gas. And when we do, that delta H is minus 110.5 kilojoules. But we can then take that carbon monoxide, allow it to react with more oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. And when we do, the delta H is minus 283.0 kilojoules. Add up those heats and look at it carefully. The heats are the same, regardless of whether the reaction occurred by process A, which was a single step, or by process B, which was a series of steps. Okay, so the heat is the same, but what about the reactions? Well, watch this. If we take carbon monoxide and cancel it, you know how you, you cancel things on, on simultaneous equations, and add it up, you get carbon plus a half of an oxygen plus a half of an oxygen, which is a whole oxygen, giving you carbon dioxide gas. The equations are identical. And so, ladies and gentlemen, is the heat identical. Now, this has so much potential. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're asked to calculate the molar heat of formation of manganese dioxide. And so you go look it up in a book and you check the the reference section, you cannot find the heat of formation of manganese dioxide. So what you have to do is go find some equations. And you want to have some equations that you can add together. And when you add them together, you will get the formation of manganese dioxide. Well, let me show you. Here's the equation you're looking for. You want to get manganese solid plus oxygen gas forming manganese dioxide solid. Sure. Now, you found these two equations up here. Will they work? Well, let's give it a try. On the left side, I need manganese solid. Looking at those two equations, do you see manganese solid? Surely, you see it in the first equation. And it's one of the reactants. And I want it to be a reactant. So write that equation precisely as it is. And you get MnO2 solid plus Mn solid plus 2MnO solid. And you look at that and say, but I don't need that MnO2. And I don't, it, it, that's, and I don't want to form MnO. How am I going to get rid of it? I want the MnO2 to be on the other side. Well, look at the other equation. Do you see that it's got MnO2, but it's also a reactant? Well, reverse the equation, sports fans, like this. See, you reverse the equation. It's 2MnO plus O2 yields 2MnO2. And when you do, you're going to have to reverse the sign on the delta H. Do you see that the sign on the delta H for the equation, as it was originally written, was positive? But now the delta H sign is going to have to be negative. Now let's see, is this going to do the job for us? Hmm, let's cancel. Well that, you know, you've got two MnO2s there on the product side, and you have one on the reactant side, so that cancels down and leaves you one on the product side. 
and two MNOs will cancel two MNOs. And look what you have left. You have MN solid plus O2 gas yields MNO2 solid. And it's constant heat summation, so you add these heats together, and the delta H is minus 540 kilojoules. Yes, that works beautifully. And this can absolutely be the piece of information that you may need to solve a problem at some point. Brought to you courtesy of the Chemistry Professor, offering complete courses on DVD. Visit us at our website on www.chemistryprofessor.com.